It's Saturday. We I started about 8 o'clock. Kevin got here about 8.30. Um, he's just finished putting on these new bars, which are going to tilt up. We'll put the spaces in there. They'll tilt up. The uh, owner really doesn't like these cafes. So we put these in place, put the left uh, hand grip on. We're going to hold off on this one until we drop the forks and take off the old ones so we can route the master cylinder. I um, just got finished running the wire for the ignition system and we're going to install the uh, rotor stator down in the timing cover in a few minutes and check for spark. Um, in doing so, when I started to run that wire, I said, oh, I just don't like the way the, all those wires are bundled. So I've cleaned it up a little bit in here and um, this will fit inside a little better, look a little nicer and um, it's, it's a good system. So, did a little bit of cleanup on that. This goes to the headlight. So, um, we made a little progress this morning. And now we're going to close up the headlight. We'll, we'll check for ignition when we get the rotor down there. And then finally start to bolt on the new starter motor. Which is, you know... What we intended to do like two, day, two, 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 two days ago. Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, we've made some serious progress. It's um, 10.30 up there, I believe. Yeah, about 10.30, 10.40. That's pretty good. Um, the whole electrical system is working, including the horn, the little meep meep horn. And we're going to show you that now. Ignition on and... There you go. That's, please don't hurt me, Horn. Uh, in the meantime, on while well, Kevin's been working on that side of the bike, I've been working over here. I've replaced this vent going up to the oil tank, and this vent that comes off of the oil tank, and I route it down along the swing arm, down here, out here, and point it so that it blows the vapors away from the rear wheel, rather than down on the rear wheel. Uh, personal idiosyncrasy. Uh, do not fret about the size of these tubes. The inside diameter of this tube is the same as the inside diameter of this fitting. Inside to inside, same size. Outside diameter doesn't matter. You don't need to put this big honker all the way up to the top because the inside diameter of the big honker is the same <laughs> as the inside diameter of the smaller tube. Seriously. So I just uh, put, use the old piece as a little adapter, put this tubing into it, run it up to the vent directly without the adapter that Norton used, and it works just fine. Thank you very much. Same thing here. The inside diameter of this tube is the same size as the inside diameter of the fitting. So it's not smaller, even though the outside diameter is, and it's a whole lot better looking. All right. Um, the ignition is all wired. We're ready to put in the mag pickup as soon as we get the other side uh, complete so we can set the timing. Headlights all sealed up, all the lights work. We're coming over here and this is the fun part. We are now ready to push this new primary case onto the bike with the motor already attached to it. Kevin, knock yourself out. Uh, I hope not. Oh, <laughs> yes. a valid point. Yes. <laughs> valid point, yes. Everything lines up. Goes on with no gasket, just gasket sealer per Alton instructions. It gives you a nice, solid deal mm -hmm. there. And they give you three Allen bolts that go into inset holes with lock washers of which we are going to put Loctite on also. We'll come around here. We've already done the test fit, so we know that the clearance is behind 
the primary are correct. You can actually get back there and measure them, and they are correct. This is a good, solid attachment to the motor. Keep in mind, that's the only attachment there. The rest of it's just free-floating. It's a nice setup. And once he gets those three in there, we'll come back and torque them. This is the ground wire that's going to go down here and attach to the bolt right here on the unit. So it has a ground right attached right to it. And the power wire is currently notched over on the other side. As soon as we get this thing when, where we consider it to be permanent, I will take this hook wire, this is your power wire, put the eyelet on it and put it onto this fitting right here. And that'll complete the electrical. Good ground on that side, down there. And power going here. So it's gonna be pretty clean. So progress is being made, looks good. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. We're gonna do a little torquing. So it's, uh, what time is it? It's uh, five after 12. Well, five after 12. Good. All right, we've made uh, serious progress here. Primary is mounted, clutch is reinstalled, primary uh, front sprocket is installed. We are getting ready to drop the new um, alternator on the front, and um, along with the drive chain that goes to the motor, which also connects to the sprocket here. Uh, we are following the instructions as provided by Alton, and they are incredibly uh, detailed and incredibly uh, informative. So um, we're right about here. We're gonna put the dry fit, and then we're gonna fit in the Sprague clutch assembly. Mm -hmm. So uh, things are coming along, and uh, we'll let you know how it works out in a few minutes. Okay, the alternator rotor is installed on the crankshaft. It uses this little chain, which is intentionally slack, and that goes to this gear here, which goes through and fits into the starter motor. This and this and the chain go on as one. Not that difficult. This slides on and slides in beautifully. This has a key in the back that you have to watch to make sure it doesn't uh, rock up. It's a rounded key, it's, it's stock and you just have to make sure it doesn't uh, slide up when you put the stator over top of it. So we're there now, and I expect that the next um, step is the bracketry that's gonna go around it and the stator, so we're, we're on our way. All right, we have the alternator rotor installed with the locking assembly, so it's locked on. With the outer bracket, that stabilizes the, uh, the whole unit, so. Progress once again, we're doing good. Well, it's, um, let's take a look. 2.30. Well, 2.30, there you go. And welcome to the second spin. I've already spun it once. So this is anticlimactic, but this is what it looks like. It's completely installed. Alternator wires hooked up. <sighs> Clutch, new alternator, rotor, the most starter motor, solenoid up there, battery, and the switch on the far side. I'll show you what it looks like when it spins over. about as exciting as it gets until I um, put the plugs in and um, set the ignition which it's 2 30 so I may do a few more odds and ends but um, I'm pretty tired I was so exhausted yesterday I went in to sit in the lounge chair at about six o'clock 
And I woke up at 11 and went to bed. I was really, really, really tired yesterday. So, not so much today, but I think I'll take it easy. Uh, we will button this up and put the plugs in and set the timing and um, do that tomorrow. I'll catch you later. Bye.